This is probably my 10th time trying to record this specific review. This movie is one of the most okayest films I've ever watched. I am actually a personal fan of Christmas action films, by which I mean I love taking the concept of the action movie and applying it to a Christmas movie. Examples in this genre are films such as Violent Night, I would go so far as to say Christmas Chronicles, and to some extent Klaus, but that's not really the focus of that film. But here's the thing with those movies. I can say things about them. There's not much I can actually say about Red One. Take the most middle of the road action movie that you've seen The Rock in. Apply Christmas. You have seen Red One. It doesn't really do anything with the premise of The Rock is the security man for Santa. It is some of the most forgettable action I've seen in any movie involving Chris Evans in a while, specifically. He doesn't really do much of anything in this film. The coolest action set piece in the entire movie is actually his. It's when the International Department of the Fantastical... I can't remember the name, so that's what I'm calling it. Uh, is coming to arrest him, and he kind of has to fight them off and, like, outrun them. That's the most interesting part of the film, because it's doing something. Every other action scene is every other rock action scene that you have ever seen. It's the rock punching people, and then he just wins because it's in his godforsaken contract to win. To steal a graph from Super Eye Patch Wolf the first time he talked about Riverdale, on the mediocrity scale, where at one you have the room, but it's bad, but stupid f***ing entertaining, and on the far end you have Bacchano, or as he used, Cowboy Bebop, where it's really, really good, and well made, and super entertaining as a result. But there's this dip in the center. And sadly, a lot of media falls in there, where it is technically competently made, but it's really boring. That's exactly where Red One falls. It is a competently made movie that is boring as shit to sit through. I was not entertained when I watched this film. I did not find it fun, and in fact, I found it uh, relatively stupid. Would I recommend you go and watch Red One? No. There's not much for me to talk about. It is a mediocre movie at best with subpar action scenes and ultimately a plot that kind of just ends itself because it needs to in one of the most Santa ex machina wins I've seen in any movie involving Santa. The acting is okay at best. J.K. Simmons is a gem as always, but he's in the movie for maybe 15 minutes and doesn't really get a chance to shine as an actor. Chris Evans has a lot of fun with this role, as he does most of his roles and does a really good job. The Rock's performance here feels like any other performance you have ever seen Dwayne Johnson do in any project he has ever done. I do not recommend going to watch this movie. For me, personally, this movie rolls a 10, exactly middle of the road, which means it is ultimately insanely forgettable. It's not super entertaining, it gets the job done maybe if you're drunk and want an action movie, but it could have been so much more, and they chose not to. Actually, f it, it rolls a 6. I don't care. It might be competently made, it looks good, the CG is fine, but it's so boring, I, it, it's lower, it's a 6. F*** it, I don't care, it's my scale, I'll f*** it. it. can roll whatever I want it to roll, nah. But that's all that I have, but yeah, I do not recommend going to watch, it is very boring. If you find it at home, on a streaming service or something, and your family wants to watch it around Christmas at some point, go ahead, but I would not waste your money or time 
If you would like to follow me at any of my socials, links to all of them are in the description down below. Thank you for taking the time to watch this ramble slash rant review thing about Red One. That doesn't actually say much about Red One, but thank you all for watching. Thank you for your time, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.